Now we're looking at numbers 24 to 29, which are all about shifting. When we shift, the key is that we bring our thumb along. We do not leave it behind, like in a thumbs up position, or move it separately from our hand. The key is that it moves and it looks exactly the same in the new position that it looked like in the old position. Now for this one, we're going to what's called third position. Now, the weird thing is where fourth finger is. Um, it's not because, we don't call it third position because it's fourth finger. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. It's third position because it's the third letter note on the string. So think A, B, C, C sharp, D. C and C sharp are the same letters, so they count as one. So those are both second position. And then third position is where fourth finger goes, okay? Now, when we go to third position, we're putting our first finger where our fourth finger was going to go. And we move our whole hand to that spot. So then we're in third position. So at number 24, we're shifting to third position. So we're going to play D. B, then shift to D, and then play third finger and play E. Okay, like that. I'm only gonna play it once, you should do it twice. Now it is important to note that this D here should match with your open D. They should match, if they don't, then it's not gonna sound right. In number 25, we're doing, um, we're should go doing zero, B, and we're shifting, and we're actually gonna put our third finger down as we shift up to cover it for E. So go D, da, ba, bum, and then play one for D. So as you shift up, your third finger's coming down. Now remember, if you squeeze, you can't shift. So you have to loosen the thumb so that you can do your shifting. <laughs> Uh, six is when we're going to go zero for uh, D, then B, C sharp, still in first position, and then shift to D for uh, third position. So this is very common. We do this a lot when we do scales. We play a third finger, we shift after that. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Notice also my elbow's not down here, like collapsed. I need to have it up far enough so that I can be on the tips of my fingers. Now, number 27, we're starting in third position, going down to first, so it's kind of the opposite. So we're up here to start, and then we shift down to B for first position. Sounds like this. Now, to check before you play, those two notes should match. Next one is a similar thing, but we're going one and we're shifting down to three. So as we shift down, you're putting third finger down for C sharp. So it sounds like this. And finally, number 29, we're kind of doing similar again to what we did before. We're going to start in third and then we're going to play three and shift down to one. So we're going to play E and then slide down to B. It sounds like this. in all of these my thumb is coming along and I'm doing a full shift to a new position.